Hello, I'm Troy Bockelman with the Cattlefax Clothes and Bell. Today's Clothes and Bell is sponsored by Zoetis, implant with 200 day Cinebex 1 to get uninterrupted performance, bigger gains, lightened workloads, and more dollars. Visit nostresscinebex.com. U.S. corn planting is now complete and corn emergence is above 95%. Now the focus will turn to the crop conditions. The Cattlefax Corn Crop Condition Index opened strong to start the year, but moved lower last week. For the week ending June 14th, the U.S. Corn Crop Condition Index was 76.0, down one full point from last week, yet still well, abo well above the 70.8 last year. Dry weather and wind in the western corn region is starting to drought the soil. On the other hand, current weather forecasts are positive for the week ahead. Since the 1st of June, spot corn futures have traded a range from $3.20 to $3.35 a bushel and are now testing the high end of that range. Continued dry weather could push prices above the $3.35 a bushel resistance level. On the fed cattle side, the daily slaughter rates continue to improve. This week's daily slaughter estimate has been 93 to 94,000 head per day so far. This is roughly 1,000 head more than last week's average. At 892 pounds, USDA steer carcass weights were one pound higher than last week and 46 pounds above a year ago. As a result, last week's beef production was above year-ago levels for the first time in nine weeks. While slaughter has been below year-ago levels, the decrease in slaughter has been offset by larger weights. With the increased beef production, the cutout has continued to trend lower. From Thursday to Thursday, the composite cutout has declined $21 to $212.13 per hundredweight. Cash fed cattle traded this week between $98 and $102 per hundredweight, down $4 on average from last week. Expect cash to move steady to lower as the market looks to determine the beef supply and demand relationship, as well as slaughter capacity. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.